Hi, my name is Joe. In this video, we are going to talk about how to install the two EAP221 wireless access point. This access point is more mesh technology. Technically, we can connect the first one to the router by using the KFIE internet cable and just add the second one to the system by using the mesh technology. The second one, we don't need to have the wire connection to the router. It, it's going to use the wireless connection to the first one. This is about the mesh technology. But we also know the mesh is depend on the environment. If there's tree or wall blocking the transmission receiving between these two, the second one is not going to get a good result. Also, the bandwidth of the second one will just have the half of the first one. And recently, one of the customers wanted to install these two in his farm. And he didn't get a good result after he installed the first one and he tried to add the second one. Now, first let's move to the whiteboard and see what is the real situation we are dealing with now. If you're getting difficult with your project, please feel free to contact us. We may be able to help. Here's the case. The customer has installed the first access point in front of the phone. He just used the CAT6 Ethernet cable to connect this access point to the router. This access point supports PoE power over Ethernet. So he can use the PoE injector send both power and data through this CAT6 Ethernet cable to the access point. So there are no need the power source around this access point. Then he add the second access point in beyond the bound. As the power source is available from the bound, so the strict door just use the mesh. The result is not good. Between the wireless and wire, I always recommend the wire solution if wiring the cable from point A to point B is possible. Because the wireless de totally depends on the situation. The tree and the wall could block in the signal, and also the signal could be interfering with each other if there's other signal transmitting receiving in the area. In this case, we can use the, this access point to wire second cable from the, this access point to the new access point. There's no, no need to rewind the cable from the first access point to the router. Alright, now let's move the demonstration board and see how we can get this job done. This is the whole system. The PoE standard is at just next to the access point. And this is one input, two output PoE standard. This cable is connecting to the first access point, now it's connecting to the PoE input of the PoE standard. And we got two PoE output. One output is connecting to the access point, and the second output is connecting to the new access point. The maximum distance between the new access point to the PoE standard is about 300 feet, so the distance is not a problem. And now just follow this cable, let's move back to the PoE injector. Before we can get this signal up, we need to replace this original PoE standard from the TP-Link. TP-Link didn't use the standard PoE, this is the passive PoE. The voltage output of this PoE is DC 24 voltage. And standard PoE, we need to use at least DC 48. If you just use this PoE injector to power this standard PoE standard, it will not work because the voltage is not right. This is the 30 watt PoE injector, it's standard PoE. So the uh, voltage output, the power output is 30 watts, enough to supply both PoE access points. One of these access points only consumes about 9 watt. As we are talking about power, power, how about if we just using, if it's just working for this high power PoE access point, it will still working? This access point for Netgear is require about 20 watt. If this is the case, then you need to replace the PO injector use this 95 watt. This PO injector can output 95 watt. And this PoE standard, it can accept 60 watt input from this PoE input port, and each of the output it can out output maximum about 30 watt. So it will be enough if you just need to change the power. Alright, that will be all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.